Are you looking for a PCIe card that can handle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? Well, you're in the right video. Hi hey everyone, this is Kyle aka Aspire from the Aspire Tech channel and today we are going to be unboxing, review, and install a network card which is the WAE3422 aka the WAE3422. This network card I bought came from Shopee and cost around $14.28 or 688 Filipino pesos in the Philippines. The specs of the network card, the chipset is a Qualcomm AR9462. Transmission speed is 300 megabits per second. Interface supports PCIe X1 to X16 slot. 2.5 2 5G dual band wireless, has Bluetooth 4.0 support, and OS supports from Windows XP to Windows 10. As you can see here, the network card is inside on the package, and after cutting the end of the package, it reveals our network card and the accessories for the card, such as the antenna cable which is for the Bluetooth, two screws for securing the card, and a low profile bracket for smaller PCs like this one right here. Installing the network card in the PC is pretty easy. To do this, turn off the PC first and put it on the table. Next, remove the side panel of the case and place somewhere safe. Then. Find a PCIe slot for you to insert the card in. For me, it is the top of the graphics card right here. If your PC case has these brackets that are screwed in, then use a screwdriver to remove one screw, then remove it easy as it is. But if the bracket doesn't have screws, that means you need to wiggle it out like in this footage right here. After that, bring out your network card and the cable. Then insert the cable into the small connector on the network card. Once that's done, insert the card to the X1 slot. And screw it back into place. Then, plug the USB header to the motherboard, which is down right here. And finally, bring out your two antennas and screw them using your fingers. And that is done. Now you can put back your side panel into the case, plug power to the PC, and turn it on. Now you may wonder where's the CD or DVD or flash drive to install the drivers? Well, there is none. And the reason why there is none is because. Windows 10 automatically installs the drivers for you and it can be automatically detected right in the device manager. However, if you weren't able to get the drivers to be automatically installed, then plug your computer to the internet, which you need a ethernet cable to do it, 
then go to the manufacturer's website which will be in the link of the description then download the drivers once you install the drivers everything should work and be detected on device manager In terms of testing, Bluetooth now works properly for devices such as my wireless earphones. However, this can support other devices like speakers, Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, and other useful peripherals that can support Bluetooth 4.0. Wi-Fi also did its job as well, since I was able to get merely the same speed as my Ethernet, but with negative 6 megabits per second lower on the download and negative 2 megabits per second lower on upload. But at least didn't dip down to 30 megabits per second below, which is good. Finally, the question is, do I recommend this network card to anyone? The answer is, as long you needed it for Bluetooth or Wi-Fi use, then yes. This is a solid option for anyone who wants it for their use. For me, having this network card in my PC is useful since I needed it for Bluetooth since I wanted to use my wireless devices such as my Bluetooth earphones for my PC. I also needed it for my new mechanical keyboard soon since it requires Bluetooth 3.0 and I want to go wireless. So if you want to check the new key mechanical keyboard review soon, stay tuned for that since it's gonna be interesting and for me my first time using the mechanical keyboard. So yeah. Back to the network card, the other reason why I need a network card is because of Wi-Fi. Yes, I know people would say like, Ethernet is better, and why are you using wireless? So the reason why I'm going for wireless is, yes, I will use Ethernet in my house. However, sometimes I bring my PC anywhere like my friends or cousins or taking into places in events where I would need my PC for good use. And I need to be connected to Wi-Fi so that I wouldn't be having issues trying to connect my PC to the internet for important purposes. In terms of rating from the seller and to the network card, I would rate 5 stars and I would recommend this for anyone who is in need for a wireless and Bluetooth support to their PC. If you want to buy the network card, you can go check it out in the link of the description where I bought the card. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy my unboxing, review, and installation of the network card, hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and stay tuned for my next video regarding to the new mechanical keyboard. If you also want to hang out with me or ask questions, join my Discord server in the link of the description. Also, check out my Facebook page if you want to be updated with my videos and other random stuff. From that, this is all I have for now. Again, thank you for watching this video. This is Kyle, aka Aspire, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!